My name is De'Aaron Lindsay Sports. I'm from the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe and I'm a freshman in college. My Lakota name is Wichakpiwiakpa, which means bright star. I grew up in Eagle Butte and my family is pretty well known. My grandpa built some of the buildings that are there. My grandma owned a bowling alley and that was pretty in back in the day. <laughs> And I've never moved or anything, houses, schools, so I'd say I'm pretty close with my hometown. Um, I go back home probably every couple of weeks. Usually my family comes and sees me though. My family is very sportsy, so my little sister is in basketball and usually she has tournaments out here and we'll just hang out and might go to a movie or They'll come here and just look at the campus. It's pretty. <laughs> my Indian heritage has always been a huge part of my life. It is so much fun to tell people about my culture and history when they ask about my last name. I'm extremely proud of where I come from. I used to jingle dress dance when I was a little girl. My grandma made my dress and I would help her make the jingles. When she died, I stopped dancing because it was not the same without her. She passed away from diabetes, my great-grandmother passed away from cancer, my grandfather was diagnosed with cancer, my father was diagnosed with diabetes, and my sister was recently diagnosed with Graves' disease. These events have influenced my career path greatly. If I were to come back and work in my community, I would work at IHS. That way I could help my people. My main motivation would probably be my little sisters. They look up to me and I just want to show them that they can do it too. My family has always tried to give us kids everything we want, but sometimes it does not work out the way they plan. My family does not have money to give away. Our financial issues have taught us not to waste, to be grateful, and that needs come first. I plan to pay for college through scholarships and financial aid. I do not want my family to have to worry about paying for my schooling. When I become successful, I want to give back to my parents. They have given me everything I want and more, so I want to do the same for them. I do not want them to have to worry about money anymore. When I first got here, I did the bridge program, and I came here with my, one of my best friends. I've known her forever, and we were actually in our dorm room together, and she ended up not coming back at semester. So I moved in with another friend that was from back home. My greatest challenge was probably transitioning from high school work to college work because high school is pretty easy for me. I didn't have to study all that much. It was just kind of smooth, but coming to college, it's way different. I had to study differently. Actually, nobody's telling you to study or when to study or when your test is, nothing like that. So it's basically, makes you more independent, I guess, and that was a tough challenge for me. Through these experiences, I have learned what it is like to be on my own and away from my family. I have become a more independent person and more outgoing. I learned what it is like to live on my own. They gave me an outlook on what college is going to be like, and I know I am ready. I've experienced everything a student would experience as a freshman in college. I had to wake myself up, wash my own clothes, experience homesickness, and found my way around campuses on my own, and of course made new friends. I believe I have what it takes to succeed in life. So I'm studying biology with an emphasis in pre-pharmacy because I want to go into pharmacy. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to stick with biology or if I'm going to switch to chemistry. It's just back and forth, which one I like better, I guess, but both would work for pharmacy, so that's why I'm studying that. After graduation, I plan to attend South Dakota State University for pharmacy school, and after pharmacy school, I want to go back to my reservation and work at the IHS, because currently there are no Native Americans working in the pharmacy, and so I want to be like the first one, kind of. <laughs> I would say to the students in my community, just to try it. Like everybody should experience college. Everybody should experience like a higher level of education. But I'd also say stick it out. So many Native Americans like don't go through with college, and I think that that needs to change. And that 
I just need to stick it out. Thank you for allowing me that. <laughs> because scholarships really help. Like, it doesn't matter how much it's for, nothing. Any type of money helps. And this scholarship in particular is one of my bigger scholarships. So it means a lot more to me than some of the other ones. <laughs> so I just say thank you to them.